Imagine if when you travel, you could have a place where you can keep your flight schedule, daily agenda, contact info, and all other information all together in one place for easy access. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Notion as your all-in-one travel planner. Hey guys, my name is Daniel Langwish, and this channel is focused on increasing value in tech, productivity, fitness, and lifestyle. And this video is one of a series of Notion videos that I have been creating looking at how we can use this app to become better, more productive people. And if being productive is something that you're passionate about, make sure you click the like button below and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on more productivity videos just like this one. Also, make sure you check the description down below where I'll include timestamps so you can jump around, uh, links to the gear that I used to film this video, as well as a link to download this travel template that I'm gonna be showing you today. But with that being said, let's jump into it. So right here we have the main screen of kind of this travel planner that I've put together. And uh, as you can see here, you know, we've got it looking nice, some good icons, nice cover and all that. And, and on the main screen here, kind of what I've got is over here, I've got just only one uh, example trip entered, but obviously if you have multiple trips, they'll all go there. And I like seeing them in a gallery view here. So you put a cover photo of the place you're going maybe, and then it's a nice visual appeal of the various trips you're going, obviously sorted by date of when you're going. And then you'll see here over on the right, we have a, uh, a calendar of trips related to right here. It's a relation. And if you don't know how relations work and you're curious about that, click on the link above and uh, I'm going to be, that's a video that I created of how to use relations just like this. And you'll see because I have this relation, I'm able in this calendar here to see kind of on the calendar the date range that I'm going on this trip, uh, hypothetically to Phoenix, Arizona. I wish I could be going there right now. So this is a nice just overview, you know, what trips do I have going on? And then over here on the left, I've got kind of a just to-do list. And, you know, things that I think of here is, you know, maybe uh, book plane tickets, make hotel reservations. And so, you know, you can go here and ask so I can, yeah, I could say book plane tickets. Um, and then right here, you get to choose what trip is this to do for. So since I only have one trip created right now, I can say this is for my trip to Phoenix, Arizona. But obviously, if you have multiple trips, this will be a nice way to keep them sorted. And again, this is done through a relation. I can choose the due date, D-O date of when uh, I want to get this thing done. Um, so let's say, you know, I should book my tickets by this next Wednesday. Um, and then you can choose the urgency, um, and we'll say this is a medium urgency. Um, and then you'll see here I've got a nice list view, so you can see it uh, looks nice showing the trip, uh, you know, the urgency right here, and then checkbox if it's done. And then down below here, I've got where all your completed tasks will bump down to, so it's again just done through a relation. So I have it click, when I click here, it leaves uh, right here and goes down to completed tasks showing it's done. I find it's nice to see what stuff have I done and, and completed rather than them just disappearing. So this is kind of the uh, main overview screen, but let's go take a look at inside an example of a trip that I have. So let's go look at this Phoenix, Arizona trip. So we're opening it up as a page, and this is kind of the template. I've, I've entered just some example stuff so you can get an idea. But the first thing we have here is up at the top, you choose your date range that you're on the trip, and that'll obviously populate into the calendar that I was showing you earlier. And then we've got the category. Uh, I'm saying this is a vacation. It can be personal work. You could add any categories that you felt would be relevant there. Uh, maybe the people that you're going on the trip with. This would be really nice if you had other Notion users and you could uh, attach another Notion user and then they would have access to uh, this trip as well. Um, and then just this is just a relation that I made um, to help us out. So then I was just trying to think through what are things that would be helpful when going on a trip. And the first thing that jumped to my mind is a checklist because I find I am always making checklists for trips that I go on, and whether it's on a piece of paper, it's on my phone, 
it'd be nice just to have a place dedicated to the specific trip for the checklist. But the problem is that every time I do checklists, I have to uh, rewrite a lot of common stuff, you know, stuff that you always bring, you know, chargers for your phone and stuff like that. So what I've got here is this essentials column. You can just go into here and when you're, you can edit the template, you would just edit the template. You would just uh, you know, go back to the previous screen. Uh, here, I can show you that real quick. You would just go back to here. And then when you're creating a trip, you just here. And then for new trip, just click edit. But let's go back into here. And you could edit the template and under essentials, enter all those things that you bring on every trip. Like it's, you're never not bringing these things. And that way, when, every time you create a new trip, you'll automatically have this list of essentials. But then I added an additional column because sometimes for specific trips, you're, you wanna bring some uh, different things. So I threw down Good to Great book, which is uh, an awesome book that I've read recently. And I actually just created a review for that. You can click on uh, the link above to check that out, amazing book. Uh, sunglasses, sunscreen, you know, going to a hot place, Phoenix, probably gonna need that stuff. Um, so that's kind of how I've got checklists um, right now. So then the next thing I've got here is kind of a, again, a relation happening between my calendar and then this kind of agenda schedule. And I think of this calendar as kind of giving me, okay, I can view the whole trip um, and, and see, you know, how much do I have going on each day? Whereas agenda is giving me kind of what are the most re things coming up uh, the soonest. So you'll see here, I've got this sorted again by date. So I've got, you know, get coffee, work out, a meeting, relax by the pool. Um, I had the date and time. You can add people that this might apply to. Um, but something I found helpful with the calendar view is if you enter a good icon uh, into the task or into the event, then when you're looking on the calendar where right now the way I have the calendar set up, maybe, you know, you could, I guess, drag this down and then the calendar can maybe be a little wider if you want that. But I found if you do a good icon, it only shows the icon right now, but that's enough for me to kind of know what it is. I can see, oh, there's a coffee right here and uh, oh, working out, oh, meeting. Um, and that shows the time. So I find those two are really helpful for, okay, what do I have going on on this trip? Now the next thing I thought about is uh, I find sometimes there's a lot of different uh, information that you need to keep track of when going on a trip. And so we've uh, got this little info section where you can upload any file of something or maybe a website link to something that's important. So, you know, I, I get an email from uh, Southwest Airlines about about a thing and I could go click on it and it takes me to the you know the web page of the information and then right in here I can just embed link paste that link and it'll automatically save it right in here you could save your uh, tickets you know right in there you could save uh, any type of information like that and that way every, you have it all right in the trip that you're going on with all your other information another thing I added uh, that I thought was kind of cool. I, I saw someone on, uh, I want to say it was Reddit, uh, who figured this out, but how to uh, embed the map of the location that you're going. And so I have this little embed here and then down below, I've kind of got the instructions for how it works. So, um, and right now I have it set up to work uh, with Apple Maps. I'm sure there's a way you could do it with Google Maps as well. Um, so what you do is you're going to copy this link. So let's, let's copy this up to here, copy, okay, and then I'm going to paste it in and actually, but then it says after the equal sign, we're going to put search phrase, meaning the place you're searching with plus signs in between each word. And this is essentially that, you know, the address that you would, if you just made a random search on Apple maps this would be what the link is. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna paste this and then we're gonna go Phoenix plus Arizona. And we are going to embed link. And it should, now we have 
a direct link where if I click on this, uh, you'll see it popped up on my other screen, but it popped up. Let's see if we can show you. It popped up right here in Phoenix, Arizona. So that way you can just immediately uh, have a thing that you just tap and it immediately takes you to your location. You could enter an address into here. Obviously you'd have to enter plus signs in between each uh, section of the address. Uh, but I thought that was just a cool thing uh, to have it with a trip right there uh, easily accessible. But that's it for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And I hope this was beneficial for you. Maybe uh, spark some ideas for how you could create a travel template. Um, I know there's a lot more things that you could do with this. I just wanted to kind of start something to maybe, uh, yeah, give you some ideas. And, and if you liked the way I had it set up, well, make sure you click on the link below and you'll be able to download this template and uh, use it for yourself, make tweaks to it, uh, customize it to the way that you want it. And comment down below, what are some future videos that you would want me to do covering uh, other types of templates? Uh, I think it'd be cool to kind of just go through different areas uh, in life and what, what's kind of the best template that we can make to work in that specific area. But that's it for today. Until next time.